I'm going to show you what to do through a video because I figured that would be better than me typing it all out. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I will eventually stumble like I just did. Uh, I have Photoshop. That's the only program I have to use. Uh, if you have something else, I'm sorry. I can't really show you what to do on there. Uh, open up the image you want to use. I'm going to use this because I already had it open. Uh, uh, make a copy of it. Um, after that, you go to Hue and Saturation and make sure Colorize is selected. So once you have it Colorize selected, just mess with the Hue slider, set it to whatever color you want it to be at. Um, you don't have to use blue, I just used blue because I was basing the Nick picture off something else. Um, and then just I, I mess with the saturation and lightness to get it to look the way that you want it to look. It doesn't have to be exact, I guess. Um, once you're done, just exit out of that. Then make sure that the copy layer is selected. Then go to Filter, uh, Distort, and Shear. Once you're in Shear, make sure that Repeat Edge Pixels is uh, the one that's selected and not wrap around. Then just mess with this. This will usually be straight, but I was already messing with this for something else, not something else. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, and just get it to the point you want it. If you mess up at any time, just press control and the cancel will turn to default. And once you click default, it'll, it'll turn this back to the straight line that it was at before. But you're going to have to click repeat edge pixels again because it sets it back to wrap around. And then once, you're, once you have that, just press OK. Uh, it'll look like this. And see the uh, copy layer will look like that. And uh, after you have it looking like that, go ahead and make another layer. Uh, go either go to edit and fill or press shift F5 and it will bring up the fill command and once you're in there under contents make sure it's set to 50% gray then press OK. Now that we have that done make sure that that layer is still selected and go to filter filter gallery and uh, go to the sketch folder go to halftone pattern and make sure the contrast is set all the way to 50 and that the pattern type is set to line. And then for size, uh, just just mess with it because I don't remember what size I used for the next picture and I know it'll look different if uh, you're using Yeah, it'll look different. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, just press OK once you have it set to where you think you want it to look or where you think will look good. If it doesn't look good, just go ahead and redo the step because I know it's always trial and error when you're trying to make stuff. Um, once you have that, go to select color range and then uh, instead of sampled colors, make it highlights and then press OK. So now that'll all be selected. And once that's all selected, you're going to want to make the uh, copy layer active again. And then go ahead and press uh, filter mask, or not filter mask, but layer mask, make a layer mask for that. So now that we have that, we can just get rid of the uh, fill layer. And it'll look like this afterwards. Now, um, you can either leave it like that and just kind of lower the fill and opacity, or if you want to get rid of like some of the stuff, some of the bars around the face and around some of the details, you just go ahead and make sure that the mask is selected and not the actual layer, and then you change to the brush tool and make sure that the color is set to black and just paint around what you want to be shown through the bars or get rid of some of the bars, make it, you know. Make it look like that. And then um, after that's done, that's uh, pretty much all I did. Except for the a whole pixel burst around it. The pixel burst thing, I watched a video tutorial to do that. So I figured it would be better if I just linked to that instead of try to sit here and bumble over it a little more. So I will link to that. And that's pretty much how I did the uh, everything else. So there you go.